Today on Ask Austin Harley, we're going to be talking about how to build a strong credit score from absolutely nothing. My name is Austin Harley. I'm a real estate agent and investor to millions of dollars of real estate in the DC metro area. The goal of this channel is to help you with real estate and credit to be the most successful individual you can be. If you haven't already, go ahead and consider subscribing to my channel because it's free and because my videos are designed to benefit any and everyone no matter what financial standpoint you're in. So how to build this strong credit score from nothing? That's it. We're going to be going zero to 800 real quick. We go zero to 100 real quick. So building a strong credit score from nothing revolves directly around my three golden rules of credit. Number one, have at least three revolving lines active and open on your credit report. So what do I mean by active and in good standings? Well, let's say for example, you open a credit card. If you're using it and paying it back in full, it's going to be active and in good standings. It's as simple as that. So what type of line should you have open? Well, it's a great question. One at bare minimum should be a unsecured credit card. The other should be a type of installment loan of some sort. And then the other can usually be either a mortgage or if you don't own a house yet, it can also be another credit card. So one thing that you need to hear to is that the three lines that you want active and open on your credit history should not be opened all at the same time. You need to space out the applications for about six months. And the reason why is because every time you run your credit or apply for a credit card, it's a hard inquiry. Those hard inquiries usually last on your credit score about two years. And if you apply for them all at once, it drastically lowers your credit score and that's obviously not the goal of why we're making this video. And this really goes for everything. Unless it's a dire need, you should not be applying for things left and right. You should be spacing out your applications, your inquiries every six months or so. So that way you don't run into a problem where you get denied for credit because you have too many inquiries. It shows that you're desperate for credit to the credit bureaus. Golden rule number two. The reason why you want these three credit cards or installment loans open is because you need to strategically pay them back in a manner that will complement the credit bureaus to give you a seven or 800 credit score. So for example, on a credit card, and this goes for any credit card, no matter if you're following this plan or anyone else's, if you have a credit card open, you should be paying before the minimum due date is due. The reason why is because the minimum due date is the deadline. That's when the banks usually cut the statement and report out your activity to the credit bureaus. So if you're paying on that date, have you ever gone into the bank, paid cash, or even wrote a check to pay your credit card or transfer money online, and you don't see it reflected on your credit card balance until maybe three to five business days after? Well, by that time, the credit bureaus have already received your information and see that your balance is still high. They don't see that you've paid it. So you need to pay a week before the minimum due date is due on all your credit cards. Now, this is not the same thing for installment loans for the purpose of it gets reported out every month and you're still, no matter if you pay double or if you pay a week in advance, it's still gonna be reported out as a reduction as long as you're paying it. So it doesn't really apply to installment loans, but credit cards are a must for doing that. I have had clients that have had actively reporting out balances high because maybe they work at large sums of money at a time. They simply use that trick and it tricked the credit bureaus to having a reduced balance because they simply just paid it before it was due and it shot up their credit score 50 points. Such an easy way to increase your credit score no matter where you stand. Now if you've watched any of my other videos, which you should because they're highly beneficial for you and your credit success, then you would know that I don't like using a high revolving line of credit on your credit cards. So what does that mean? Well, if you have a limit of say 5,000 on a American Express credit card, you should not be going over 500 bucks of that. You will get the same credit score increase from using 10 bucks and paying it off in full as you will using the credit card to 3,000 and paying it off at full. That 30% rule that you'll hear should really be 10%. At this stage, if you're watching this video, you should be using credit to increase your score, not using credit as leverage yet. You want to get your credit score as strong as possible so that way later on in life you can leverage money against your credit and use it to your advantage to buy real estate, which is what this entire channel is designed about. And if at any time during this video you have questions, pause the video, 
give it a thumbs up and leave your question in the comment section below hashtagging Ask Austin Harley and I'll make sure to get to your personalized question as soon as possible. Golden rule number three, the last golden rule and probably one of the most misunderstood golden rules. And I'm going to be making a full video series on my three golden rules to increase your credit no matter what standpoint you're in. But here we go. Remember how on the first golden rule I told you to have three lines of credit reporting out in good standings? And remember how I told you one of them should be an installment loan? Well, whether you're new to credit or you have an 800 credit score, you should be doing this because it can strengthen your credit score. It is to get a secured loan. Now, so many people are going to ask questions, so leave comments in the comment section below. But a secured loan, what is the purpose? Let's go through it really quick. So a general overview, an installment loan has a beginning and an end date. You pay a set amount every single month or you could pay more additional principal to pay it off faster. A secured loan is the exact same purpose except for people that don't have good credit necessarily, they may have to put down money just like a secured credit card in order to receive money. Now the point of this is not to leverage your credit. Like I said before, you should be using your credit to increase your score. The point of this is to have something active in good standings finished and paid off on your credit report. So the best place to find these secured loans is probably going to be your local credit union. The reason why is because they usually don't run a credit inquiry in order to get you approved since you're giving them let's say a thousand dollars and they're giving you a thousand dollars back there's really no risk to the bank. They're just simply reporting it out to the credit bureaus. So for example, some of my clients to quickly boost up their credit score will go to a local credit union. We have one, I mean, Navy Federal is national. You can use Northwest Federal Credit Union if you're in the DC metro area like me. Um, go to the bank, go talk to the banker, verify that they do not run an inquiry in order for you to get approved. You put down a thousand dollars, they give you a thousand dollars back and usually they charge you an interest rate of let's just say 3% for one year. Now let's take a look at those numbers. If you're paying $1,000 over one year at a 3% interest rate, you're probably paying in total about 18 bucks in interest and your monthly payment's probably gonna be 80 or 90 bucks. Really not that bad. So what you do is you take the thousand that they give you, you add the interest to it, whatever it may be, they're gonna give you the loan documents so you're gonna see what the total accrued interest will be and you add that all into a savings account. Now you have a savings account of $1,018, let's just say, and you set up an automatic payment to pay on that payment due date every single month until the loan is complete and finished. Now what this is gonna do is give you an extra added line actively in good standings reporting out there. It's also going to give you, once it's finished, a reported out and completed loan, which not many people have, which can actually help you leverage money later on to get unsecured loans if you want, or even collateral loans such as mortgages and home equity lines of credit. This can even help you get approved for a car loan after it's completed, because it shows that you're trustworthy and that you pay off your loans in full. So let's repeat this again. You have an active reporting in good standings loan, you're paying on time, and you didn't even use an inquiry in order to get approved for it. How easier could that be than walking into a bank and say, hey, here's a thousand bucks. Oh yeah, I'll charge you $18. Just boost my credit score up 50 points. It's literally as simple as that. You're literally paying $18 in interest in order to boost up your credit score. Crazy. Now, quick disclaimer before anybody rams me, you should not be using this strategy as far as the secured loan if you're either planning on applying for a loan within the next year because it holds against your debt to income ratio and you want to show the maximum amount of income and the lowest amount of debt whenever you're applying for a mortgage or a home equity line of credit. You don't want that $80 or $90 payment being held against your income whenever you go and apply for a mortgage. So that's it guys, how to build a strong credit score from absolutely nothing. You can use these three golden rules no matter what financial standpoint you're in. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. If you had any questions, leave it in the comment section below, hashtagging Ask Austin Harley. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Don't have Twitter. I'll see you guys in the next video.